Hey, how you doing? And once again, I'm going to drop something on you. This is like 101 for the people who don't really understand what's real and what's not real. Out here, out there, those are clouds. Out there is the atmosphere. And some parts don't look like whatever. But I want you to look up here. You see that bright streak that's going across? It's vague because that was a line no less than two minutes ago. No less, not no more, no less than two minutes ago as I went to go get my camera. And it dissipated so now it doesn't it doesn't even look like something was there but it just looks like bright that streak is going to open out more and absorb itself into the existing cloud systems as you can see the, the sky streaking scree backwards or squeaking back. I'm not saying these are the effects of um, artificial clouds, aka the harp setup or chemtrail, because the that is um, how natural clouds flow as well. But as you see, the cloud that I was pointing to out there, up there, that cloud up there, it's a partial where it looks white. As you can see, that's the sun. And you can see the sun set upon the clouds out there but in that spot right there it looks white that's not the sun that is what was put up in this dissipate as you can see right there there's another one that, that little line right there is very short it's a little poof. That mark right there. But as again, I'm going to go back. So as you can take a closer look. What was once there is no longer there. So it's just in me showing you the video. The, the streak that they put in the sky because they just tossed the streak up and let it absorb into the clouds. The minute and a half that it took me to grab my camera and turn it on, it dissipated so that it was difficult for me to show you. But if you pay attention, you would have saw it. And just the time that I spoke with you, it has totally disappeared into the cloud system. Now that's when it's dissipating into the cloud system. The abomination or the horrific or the diabolical aspect of this is when they put that in the air. And that becomes the actual artificial cloud system. So for the people who are not privilege to have known what real clouds actually look like or who has not had enough education to know the difference of artificial versus natural 
they will never notice. And they will never know the difference. And they will never know when the air has actually been poisoned. So when people around them become sick, everybody thinks it's just a natural occurrence. Oh, when people start talking about I got this cough and my chest feel funny or I got this cough and I can't get it up if you don't understand the air system around you if you don't understand the air system around you then you will be the victim of all types of experimentations dealing with your health biological and chemical do not think you're not in, in, um, in an experiment that's been sanctioned for your downfall if you have any information you need to let it be known so that you can help your people